Hi friends. If this cemetery looks familiar to you, it might be because you've seen it in movies and TV shows. And since I love film locations, I wanted to stop by today. The name of this cemetery is Angelus Rosedale, and you may remember that about a year ago, I stopped by and I visited the gravesite of actress Hattie McDaniel. Her grave is located just inside the front gate, a short distance past the information booth on the left-hand side of the street. She's just one of the many famous people buried here in this cemetery. This is one of the oldest, most historic cemeteries in Los Angeles, and behind me you can see the Los Angeles skyline. It's just a couple of miles away some of the high rises you might be able to see back there. And so I wanted to mention some of the movies that have been, and TV shows that have been filmed here. Any fans of Six Feet Under? It was one of my favorite shows, no surprise. The house where the TV series was filmed is just down the street about 10 minutes or so from the cemetery. And this cemetery was used during the series for some of the uh, cemetery um, scenes. Besides uh, Six Feet Under, Charmed has been uh, filmed here, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, Lord of Illusions, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer apparently was filmed here quite a bit. So if you love movies and TV shows and filming locations, you'll definitely want to stop by and visit Angelus Rosedale Cemetery if you haven't already been here. Some of the shows that I mentioned, I haven't seen myself. So if any of you have seen those and you recognize any of these graves or any of the locations here within the cemetery, yeah, please let me know down below. Or if I've missed some of the TV shows or movies that were filmed here, that would be great to know about that as well. And in fact, I would really like to put together a list of all the cemeteries here in Los Angeles for sure, maybe California, maybe the world where filming has taken place, where movies and TV shows have been made. As I mentioned earlier, the house where the HBO TV series was filmed is located not far from Angelus Rosedale Cemetery, so I thought you might like to see it. It's located just a couple of blocks south of the 10 Freeway, or the Santa Monica Freeway, on Arlington Avenue at the corner of 25th Street and you can just about see the freeway from the house. The Victorian style home was built in 1904 by Rodolphe Auguste Marquis and is now known as the Auguste Marquis residence. It's located in one of Los Angeles' most historic neighborhoods and is now listed as a Los Angeles historic and cultural monument. If you're a fan of the TV show that ran from 2001 to 2005, then you'll remember that the house played a central role in the series. The Fisher & Sons funeral home was not only their family business, but it was also their residence. The bodies were embalmed and prepared for viewing downstairs in the basement. Services and showings were held in the funeral parlor on the main floor, and the family lived upstairs. I love visiting uh, filming locations for movies and TVs, but I don't really show them very often because they're not really related to my channel, but this one was perfect. Since so many of the episodes of Six Feet Under were filmed in cemeteries, I thought I would try to find as many as I can. Now, the very opening scene, I don't know if you remember, I did watch it the other day. You know, I haven't seen the series in years, but I watched the opening episode one just a couple of days ago, and I had forgotten that it opens on Christmas Eve with the father, Nathaniel, driving to the airport in his brand new hearse to pick up his son, Nate. And on the way, he's broadsided by a bus and killed. And so the first episode is about his death and his funeral. Now, the cemetery they use in the opening scene is not Angelus Rosedale, which is just down the street. It's actually the Mountain View Cemetery in the city of Altadena, which is right next to Pasadena. It's not really that far from here, maybe maybe a half hour or so, depending on traffic. Now, I've been there before, and I recognize the mausoleum behind the area where Nathaniel is buried, and I'll show you that. I'll show you um, some of the film, some of the footage that I've taken there. 
in my uh, in my past visits. When I was there, I had no idea that uh, Six Feet Under had been filmed there, and, and the scene was very extensive. And there were actually three or four different scenes, and you can definitely tell that it's a cemetery in Altadena. So as you can see, these are the front gates of the Mountain View Cemetery in Altadena, California. And to find the section that was used for the funeral scene in the first episode of Six Feet Under, once you're through the gates, you can either go to the left or to the right, and then just go all the way to the very back of the cemetery. There's one big loop that will take you from the front to the back. Actor Richard Jenkins plays Nathaniel Fisher, the father and owner of the funeral home, and this is where the fictional character is being buried. Some of you might remember that last year I visited the gravesite of Nobel Prize winning physicist Richard Feynman. And you may also remember that Feynman is Sheldon Cooper's idol. And I'm referring to Sheldon Cooper from the Big Bang Theory. So I'm not positive, but it looks to me like Nathaniel Fisher is being buried almost right next to, or at least very close to, the gravesite of Richard Feynman. This would be on the north side of the outdoor mausoleum that you see in the scene. It's possible though, because a lot of this is in close up, that the grave could be on the south side of the mausoleum. But I'm pretty sure it's on the north. There are quite a few other famous people buried here in the cemetery, including actor George Reeves, who played Superman on the Adventures of Superman TV series back in the 1950s. He's interred in the indoor mausoleum, which unfortunately is now locked to the public, or at least it was when I was there. So I believe that Six Feet Under was also filmed at Hollywood Forever Cemetery, where I'm also headed today. So I will take a look there and see if I can see anything that I recognize. About a month ago, Scott from the YouTube channel We Are The Rest 2050 was in Los Angeles for a week or two. And we got together and did a vlog in Palm Springs. But before we left, I also joined him in Hollywood at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. If you haven't yet checked out Scott's YouTube channel, I highly recommend it. I'll put the link down below. Do you know which films have been filmed here in the cemetery? Now I know, um, they, well Brooklyn Nine-Nine was filming here the other day. They're filming something here again. They used the gates back here for um, that movie. Hmm. Susan Saran just explained, they played Betty Davis and who's oh, really? Joe Crawford. I don't know. They use that. these gates in the back right here by oh. the other uh, Jewish Muslim. They use those gates. Oh, okay, yeah. that's interesting to know. And what else have they filmed in Hollywood forever? Well, here, I've got my list. Let me read my list yeah. to see if you can remember. Yeah. Okay, so I've got my list, and I've got Scarecrow and Mrs. King. The episode was Remembrance of Things Past. Melrose Place called The End Game in 1993. Right. And so you're thinking that they did that at the, uh, the gate, or is that the movie you were talking about? About what? Melrose Place? Yeah. No, I was just going to say that um, I'm surprised I don't recognize it because Melrose Place was my favorite show growing up, besides 90210. Yeah. And the first time I came to Los Angeles, the first exact place that my friend and I went to, that I drive to, was the Melrose Place Apartments. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was, That's like, like, as soon as we landed, I had to see them in person. <laughs> it's really interesting, isn't it, going somewhere like that in person where you've seen, like, a TV show? Yeah. And then oh, you go see their house. Me. It's just, yeah. like, when I, this morning, I went to visit the... Uh, Six Feet Under House, and it was just weird to... See it in person. Yeah, it's yeah. like, well, like I think when I saw you that day, you were, where were you? You were somewhere, and I was like, that is so weird. Oh, it was the, the show, the other show I really like, that's done in Chicago. Oh, Shameless. Shameless, yeah. and here you are in front, at, of, in front of the Shameless yeah. House, and we just watched an episode like the night before. It's crazy, And man. it's like you're in the TV show. Oh, yeah. It felt, it felt like I was in the TV. They, that, so they, you felt like that, too. Huh? Yeah, definitely. With some filming locations, they're remote, or they just don't look the same. They yeah. kind of look the same. But that Shameless really is an active yeah. street, yeah. and they're still filming the series. Yeah. And it, that city, that street is alive with people well, and I a, guess, a community. Well, that's the thing. It's like it's most of the film. time... Most of the time when you go to film locations or TV locations, the movies are done, the, you know, these are old movies, old TV shows that aren't, you know, still active, but to go to Shameless where you're actually yeah, still yeah, watching there. it, yeah. yeah, that was what was so interesting about that. Yeah, we did the uh, bunch of Halloween from Halloween 2007 and the old Halloween last night and we did it on the streets of Pasadena running around <laughs> and that. 
felt like we were in the movie at times. Really? Right. Especially because we had a Michael Myers mask, which helped. Oh, wow. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> I can't wait to see that yeah, one. Yeah, it was pretty fun. So All right, these so skates, this... yeah, they were used in, I believe it's whatever the movie is with Susan Sarandon and Jessica Lange, where they play Joan Crawford and Betty Davis. This is, these are the gates. So they oh, use these gates pretending to be the studio. Paramount studio yeah. or just a studio gates. I believe it was, oh, yeah, they, got, they covered it up there. Oh, that's they had interesting. A little, uh, I think they had a booth set up here but they I, she drove in this way I think it was Susan Sarandon I can't remember but you don't exactly. remember the name of the movie no I don't remember the name it just, it okay, was just we'll, out we'll, yeah we'll look it up and see it was just out not too long ago and you can see huh. and actually if you watch the trailer for it on YouTube you can see these gates wow. it's in the trailer but they covered it all up may look a little different but these are the gates yeah oh fantastic all right well i'm gonna look for that and you know to be honest i've been here a million times and i didn't know there was a gate back here right i've only ever come in the front gate so i was gonna say that anton yelchin who's one of my oh, favorite right, actors right, yeah he's buried here it's the tragic death but he actually filmed him now i don't know the name of the movie i can't remember it was a small movie but he filmed a movie here i did visit anton's uh, grave I think it was just like a month or two after he died. I just right. accidentally was walking by. I was like, oh my God. Have you seen this... the new statue and everything? Yeah, 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 I have seen the new statue. And his I parents think are there I... every day. Yeah, I remember They're not you telling me that. Yeah, his, no. parent, his father comes in the morning, then the mother uh, comes in the afternoon. They switch off. Yeah, yeah, I've seen them both many times. Not only was his untimely death incredibly sad, but how ironic that this young actor would make a movie in the cemetery and then be buried here just a couple of years later. While doing my research for this video, I've discovered at least another dozen movies and TV shows that have been filmed here. But rather than include them now and make this an extra long vlog, I think I'll wait and sometime in the future I'll devote a vlog just to the films that have been made here at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. And please let me know if you're aware of any TV shows or movies that have been filmed here, just in case they're not on my list. And I want to give a big shout out and a thank you to John Saunders, who left a comment asking me if I had ever visited Hollywood Forever Cemetery, where One Dark Night was filmed. I had never seen the film, so I looked it up online and discovered that part of it had also been filmed at Angelus Rosedale Cemetery. So thanks again, John, and I hope you enjoy this vlog. Now, I don't know if any movies or TV shows have been filmed here, but maybe some of you watching will know and will share with us in the comment section below. This photo in front of Johnny Cash and June Carter Cash's grave sites was sent to me by Shauna. It was taken by her husband when they stopped at the cemetery to visit the Cash's on their way through town. So I wanted to give you a shout out and a big thank you Shauna for sending these photos. I've never been to their grave sites so it's really nice to see where they're located and the fans are still visiting. The caches are buried at Henderson Memory Gardens in Henderson, Tennessee. So if you'd like to send your own cemetery selfies, especially if you're located outside of California and have visited cemeteries I haven't been able to, I'll put my email address down below where you can send them. So until next time, thanks for sharing the memories.